So I'm out there, it's spring, it's time to, you know, do your planting. And on the side of my house, I have some big pots and I had put a lot of big flowers in them, not the seeds. And I stood back and I'm like, that looks really pretty. I was satisfied. But what made me go over there to move a pot that I didn't need? It was very large and had wet dirt in it. And I picked it up and I not only felt, but I heard a pop. And I said, oh Lord, what have I done to myself? Because I heard it and felt it. And I fell down in my driveway. And I knew that was it for me. But after a while, I could move and I said, oh, I'm okay. And I couldn't believe I was okay um, with that pop uh, like it was and to feel it. But I got up and I was just thankful. I said, I'm okay. I went in the house, I took a shower, went on to bed, no problem. The next day I got up, no problem. It was on a Thursday and Friday I was fine. Saturday, I couldn't walk. And that's why you guys, you know, you didn't see me at church all last summer. I couldn't walk. I never, all summer, I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything. And this whole side, it was a, a pain. I was like, what in the world? And that's how I was all summer. So after all the months, I said to the doctor, uh-uh and physical therapy may be making this worse. He set me up to see the orthopedic specialist. And I said, well, somebody from my church said they get a shot. And I want to try that. So this doctor said, well, um, I'll have to do the MRI so I'll know how to guide that needle and where to. I said, okay. And I remember that, so I went in really happy and everything. I wanted that injection and all that, you know. And when I went in, I know I didn't see him at all. Laid me on my stomach. And then all of a sudden, there he was in the back of me talking, but I never saw him come in. So I said, I guess it's a back area. And he said, I'm getting ready to, you know, give you a little lidocaine. And I had my head down, and I was just holding tight. And I and it was over. The nurses, it was two of them, said, okay, we're gonna help you get up. I looked around, I said, where's Dr. Barry? And they said, he just left. But I kept wondering, that was so strange to me. But then I said, oh, well, I'm on my way now. And I was so happy, because I could just see myself, and I walk fast, and I could just see myself just twisting and just just being like I was. And I said, oh, hold on. It's Dr. Krashnoff. And he said, how are you doing? I said, oh, I'm okay. I said, you know, I got my injection. He said, yeah, that's why I'm calling. Uh, but he said, you know what? The Dr. Barry that you saw that gave you the injection, he just said, you were so nice to he didn't have the heart to call you. But when he saw my MRI, it was just full of cancer all in my back. And he said she was so happy. So that's why he didn't even talk to me when he came in. You know, because, you know, it's kind of like what good would it do? And so, my doctor, and I've known him, he's been my doctor for a long time. I'm like, what's going on with me? You know, the bat, the tree, cancer. I just, um, Sabrina, I, um, it just, it took me somewhere else. Uh, it's like I, I just, 
I could tell I just lost myself. I just was like a dummy or a zombie. My daughter got up to go to the bathroom and she peeked in there and said, you okay? And I tried to, and then I said, I said, I read my results and she was sitting on the bed and I just broke down. It was horrible. And when I told her about the, it was just, it was horrible. What an experience. You, you gotta pull her through this. You know, you're hurting, you don't want her to be hurting. And, and when I went in there, she had plain, uh, I'm gonna be ready. And I, that's Yolanda Adams. But guess what, that's not a new song, but I never heard it. That song pulled me through. And so, then I had to go start seeing an oncologist, the cancer doctor. And through all this, all I did was crying every day, all day, everywhere I would go, whoever I was with. But I know as a fact that God doesn't leave you. But as I was with the doctor, he said, you're gonna really need people. You can't be alone in this. And I, I knew that and then I believe so in God, and I love this church. And I said, I need all of them to be praying for me. You know, I can't just, because I wasn't even praying my own self. I had said about, I didn't see it then, but God was there all the time. Look, the doctor extra kind to me. He was right there. The pastor my family coming in supporting my, my friends. I get the results about that surgery biopsy. It was scheduled at nine o'clock. They wanted me there at eight. The nurse comes out, it's almost nine. And she said, I'm coming to take you on back, you ready? And who walked in the door right at nine o'clock but Pastor Carlos right at the time. So the nurse was, I said, that's my pastor. So he comes on around, can, can we pray? And she said, sure, can I be in it? She wanted prayer. Mm -hmm. So there we were, right there, he came right on time. That was a sign to me, that was a sign. And I'm excited. Way I'm getting a little more powerful now and said, I'm gonna go through this. And he said, I don't understand. We didn't see anything and they couldn't get nothing. And I was like, huh? And so real quickly he said, so we're gonna do another one. Set me up for the next one. Now my doctor is getting the more lines. Here I go back. And he says, I don't know what we're gonna do here. And he ran back in the chair and he said, we didn't see anything. He said, and it was driving him crazy, but he said, you saw it. <laughs> he said, remember my <laughs> I said, I, he said, your friends were here. And he said, your granddaughter was here. He said, well, maybe she needs to go in another area. It just and cut on you differently from the doctors that did these other two. So we get that set up. Now that's considered really real surgery. And um, I went in, had that. Now I go in for that. And I just knew that was going to be it. I just knew that was going to be it. And now my poor doctor, as a matter of fact, he was sitting like you because he's on a stool lower than me. So I'm kind of looking down at him. He scooped the little stool up. And I felt so bad for him. I really did. Because 
There was nothing there. They don't see anything. Nothing there. And so, uh, they're just like this. And so, you know, he, he don't know what to say. So now he said, unless something comes up, see me in June. Praise God, nothing, nothing. They cannot find it anymore. And I even saw it. It's been a miracle. And right now, it's been a miracle because if it was all over you like that, it's a miracle that I'm still, okay. I'm still alive for even this period of time. And so when they said that to me, I said, that's it. That's it, Lord. And so now I've been just so happy. I'm so happy again. And so I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Thank you, God. He's real. He's real. He's real.